So I just finished hiking the Gorge Trail at Whetstone State Park, and it was very good. Um, so it was a trail, it was a maintained trail for a few years, I think, and then it all got washed out because this river must come up or whatever. So there was a few footbridges that were there, but I don't even know if they were there. You'd still have to walk in the water for a lot of it to get to the top, so you obviously have to wear waterproof shoes or water shoes. Don't wear your hiking boots, you're just going to be walking in the water. Pretty much walking the water the whole way after probably halfway. You can walk halfway on the land where there's still a pretty good herds path that people use. Um, but after that, there's no trail. You can kind of walk on the side sometimes, but you're pretty much just walking in the water. Uh, you definitely want to do it when it's warm. But I've read you can do it in the winter time. I think people cross country ski because the river kind of freezes over. It took me, well, I don't even know what time it is. I think it's like 12.30. I started at nine and I stopped a couple times to fly the drone. So whatever that is, three and a half hours. I definitely wouldn't bring little kids though. You'd have to be, as long as you're old enough so you can walk across the river by yourself, that's really the thing. There's a few spots where it's definitely enough current or it's just deep enough. The deepest spot I was, was probably just above knee height. But there's definitely some spots that looked like they were probably would be waist or even chest height. There's a couple, a couple spots that looked that deep. But it's really cool when you get up to the gorge and you're just walking in between the two walls. And there were definitely some rocks. There was little rocks falling, so I would definitely, I don't, you know, I don't it's not a place you want to hang out for very long, I don't think. But it was a really cool hike. And the campground here is good too, if you've ever camped here. Somebody had a bad day a long time ago. It's a snowmobile if you can't tell. You can kind of see it. The tracks, or the skis on the front, and they're all bent up out there too, so. But pretty well taken apart, actually. 